Now, To Henare spent 15 years in Parliament, most recently as a National MP, after spending a few years in the wilderness following his defection from New Zealand first. It's fair to say he's had his fair share of rocky political times. He's with me here in the studio, probably nothing quite like what you saw today. What did you make of Jamie Lee oh, Ross's? Yeah, no, yeah. That, that, that was like watching Netflix, you know, on on meth most probably. <laughs> it was. It, uh, I don't think New Zealand's ever seen something like that. A stand up like that, and and uh, uh, and a and a politician unleashing, um, and it's really vengeful stuff too. It's I'm here and I'm going to get back at that leader, and I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him down. It was a takedown. Now that takedown, as you described, it happened with no one behind Jamie Lee Ross, and that was because all of his colleagues were in caucus all gathering together to yep. vote against him and in expelling from the party. Simon Bridges walked out of that meeting. He fronted the media with uh, the, the, you know, a lot of supporters around him or people that did go against him for the for the leadership bid. But what did you make of his response to Jamie Lee Ross's uh, allegations? Oh, I, I, look, I think they were... Um, he's right in some respects that, that he's now he's got to wait for Jamie Lee to front up to the cops and, and put everything on the table. Um, I, 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 I just thought it was not as strong as I would have liked. Um, me, if it was me, I would have fronted up and said, right, we're not listening to any more of this. He's gone. We, you know, I mean, I think he could have been a bit harder. Was he too quick to say, we want to draw a line under this, we are all united? Um, he said all the 55, apart from Jamie Lee Ross, yep. v voted against him. Um, some of these people are your former colleagues. Have you been in touch with them? Have you got a, 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 your finger on the pulse in terms of just how united or disunited this party is? Oh, no, they are not. They are united. They'll rally around Simon. But only as long as um, the, the polls um, stay reasonable. If, if, if this goes on, um, and it's likely to go on, then there may be some angst with a couple of people. You don't think that his leadership is mortally wounded here? As of six o'clock tonight, no, I don't. Um, but that could change rapidly. You're keeping your eye on the polls? Yeah, I, I, I think that uh, a lot of people will be keeping an eye on the polls and a lot of people will be keeping an eye on what Jamie Lee does next because I remember uh, the swirling allegations against Dover Samuels. And that basically ended his five minutes as Minister of Māori Affairs. None of the allegations were true, um, but they were allegations, and Clark thought that she would be better rid of him as Minister of Māori Affairs, and let's move on quickly. There's a lot more to come on this. There's a lot of unanswered questions. If Jamie Lee Ross is right here and telling the truth that he was not the initial leaker, it means, doesn't it, that there is a, a another member of the National Party caucus that is suffering from serious mental health issues <laughs> and needs that support. Oh, what do you make of this? Uh, 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 what I would say is the guy with the mental issues was on TV this morning at 11 o'clock, um, as far as I'm concerned. He's the leaker. He's the, Yeah, well, well, it, it, in the P, PwC report, it doesn't say so, but it alludes to the fact that he's most probably the most likely leaker. But, but but we're not talking about that anymore. We're not, nobody's talking about the leak anymore. We're talking about a guy that months and months ago started uh, recording conversations with the leader in, a, in basically in an entrapment style uh, uh, conversation with the leader, and he was planning this ages ago. That's what I get from the the takedown this morning. This has been a like a concerted effort by Jamie Lee to get as much crap on Simon as possible for this date. If that crap, as you described it, sticks though, I mean, and the, well, polls, go, has. And the polls go down, yep. I mean, how long has Simon Bridges got? Oh, uh, I give, uh, look, let, let's say I give him to the, uh, the end of the by-election and I don't know when that's going to be, I don't know, eight weeks. Right. In that case, who takes over as the leadership of the, the leader of the National Party? Crossy, now you're asking me to uh, get the lotto numbers. Um, <laughs> there are a few budding ones behind Simon Bridges. Well, they all were there. They're all lining up behind them um, today. Look, um, if 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 in my opinion, in my really humble opinion, if if the Nets want, if if Simon goes, if the Nets want to take it to Labour, like really take it to Labour. There's only one candidate as far as I'm concerned. JC. She's the girl.
crush her. And, and, and I'm not saying that um, because I like her or anything like that. Hell, I like Simon. Um, but, but she may be the, the one thing that can really not only galvanise the caucus, but also galvanise the, the 35 to 40% core support of national outside. And then she's only got to build on that other uh, 5 10%. Mm. Very unpopular in her own party at the moment in caucus, but that could change. Now, finally, um, in the meantime, Jamie Lee Ross will sit effectively as a crossbencher. Uh, after all these accusations today, how destabilising will that be in Parliament for Simon Bridges? Well, it's only till Friday. He, he goes on Friday. Mm. Um, I doubt very much he'll get a question in the House. He may. But, but if he wins this by-election as an independent... He ain't going to win. He ain't going to win. He's going to get his backside kicked from here to botany, basically. Um, and, and, and the sad thing is, what happens after the election to Jamie Lee, his wife, and the kids? Is because who's going to employ somebody who's willing to sit down with the boss and record the boss for later, later episodes? You know, who's going to give him a job? Hell, I wouldn't give him a job. We'll have to leave it there. But thank you very much, To Henare, for your political analysis there. Someone who's very experienced in politics and how these things work.